Hello everyone, this is Kevin from Points Travel Tech. Welcome to my Hilton's of Vienna series. Today's hotel, the Hilton Vienna Plaza. The project is simple. I'll visit all five Hilton branded hotels in Vienna for one night from a Saturday to a Sunday. Inquiring about an upgrade beforehand is not allowed in order to make this experience as authentic as possible. As a Vienna local, I will share my opinions on what kind of traveler each hotel is best suited for. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to be notified when the other reviews go online. We'll get started right after the intro. Let's get things going with the Points Travel Tech fact sheet. I booked the cheapest room for one night, which was a king guest room. We were upgraded automatically to a King Executive Plaza room, which was an increase of five categories. The rate was 140 euros. As Diamond members, we received access to the Executive Lounge, free breakfast and a bottle of wine. The Hilton Vienna Plaza is located right on the edge of Vienna's city center. This means that many famous sites are in walking distance. The beautiful Art Deco building, inspired by the Roaring Twenties, shines in a dark golden color palette and offers 254 rooms and suites. We left the rather hidden reception area with the info that no suites were available. This wasn't too surprising since the building only offers suites in the top floor. Therefore, the amount of suites is very limited. So we headed up to level 9 of 10 to check out our King Executive Plaza room. Rooms on the 9th floor feature small French balconies, while rooms and suites on the 10th floor offer proper balconies. However, Executive Plaza rooms on floor 9 are 36 square meters, while the Penthouse Executive rooms on floor 10 are smaller with only 27 square meters. Let's have a look at our room number 928. The modern, clean and new looking bathroom offered a single sink with ample counter space and a fairly large walk-in shower. The big problem is the low ceiling. The shower is raised about 10 centimeters from the floor, making it a very tight squeeze between myself and the shower head. I'm 1 meter 87 or 6 foot 1 and this situation was not ideal. On a positive note, there was a socket in the bathroom to plug in a hair dryer and also the possibility to stream the audio coming from the TV into the bathroom. The hallway offered two closets one containing the kettle, safe and empty minibar. The room itself is quite large and offers more than enough space to open up suitcases and spread out your things. Both nightstands next to the king size bed had an electrical outlet and labeled light switches. The pretty chaise longue, the side table and desk completed the furnishings. Next to the bottles of water, we received a bottle of wine as a diamond welcome gift. Austria, and Vienna in particular, has amazing tap water quality coming straight from the Alps. This is explained on this little card on the nightstand. My advice is, bring a bottle, refill it anywhere, and enjoy this luxury that Austrians get to indulge in every day. The TV was a bit on the small side. On the other hand, connecting my iPad via HDMI worked flawlessly. The French balcony was just large enough to step outside on. From our room, you could get a glimpse of the Stevens Cathedral, one of Vienna's most famous sites. The executive lounge is located on the second floor. However, the facilities were closed. The impromptu lounge was located in the lobby, offering non-alcoholic drinks and pretty bad coffee to go only. I was told the lounge would open up once the hotel had a higher occupancy consistently. However, I was quite disappointed with the alternative offerings. 
For dinner, we walked to Max Grill House, one of six restaurants run by the family Hoot. Each restaurant offers different cuisines, all with amazing quality and in walking distance of the Hilton Vienna Plaza. Breakfast the next morning was chaotic to say the least. COVID restrictions reduced the available seating by around half. We had to wait for 20 minutes to get a table. However, this is only one part of the problem in my eyes. The buffet area is really small and the restaurant was obviously understaffed. This was also due to COVID restrictions. While the food offering was quite good, many items were gone as soon as they were brought out, even with the lowered capacity. I simply can't imagine this to run smoothly when the hotel is fully booked and every seat is taken. There was no cooking station, although I'm sure you could order eggs or other items, we didn't have a chance to try because we couldn't get a hold of a waiter. What also surprised me was that breakfast was only served until 10 a.m., even on a Sunday. The gym is usually open 24 seven. Due to COVID, maximum capacity was seven people. The two saunas could only be used alone or by couples that share a household. The facilities offer small but clean locker rooms and the gym itself seemed to be well stocked. Before I conclude my stay, here is a great tip if you're arriving by car. Parking in the Hilton garage is 35 euros a night. Parking on the streets of Vienna is only free on weekends and holidays, but there is a really cheap garage right behind the hotel. It's run by Payuka, a parking app startup based in Vienna. During the week, 24 hours of parking only costs 7 euros. This is an absolute steal. Payuka has many garages scattered across Vienna. You can reserve a spot on the app in advance. Your phone is literally the key, so you will need to be connected to the internet for the system to work. I highly recommend downloading their app since I've been using it for years and I'm truly happy with its features. To summarize, the location of this hotel is definitely a very strong selling point. The interior seems to be brand new, however, the ceilings are pretty low and the color palette is quite dark. The staff was very friendly. Our receptionist, Mr. Chang, was super enthusiastic when we checked in and made us feel welcome right away. I had a chat with the assistant front office manager, Mr. Stefan, and he told me that the hotel does aim to upgrade Diamond members to suites if they have some available. Breakfast was quite chaotic and I fear that the buffet area is simply too small to accommodate many guests at the same time. If you get a good deal, then I'm sure you'll have a good time here. But if the price is the same at the Hilton Vienna Park, I would choose to stay there. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful. Also, be sure to check out the reviews of the other Hiltons of Vienna and subscribe for even more content. Lastly, you can follow my travels on Instagram at Point Travel Tech Austria. Until then, happy travels and see you soon.